Well, I want to show you where a wealth of information is for articles on the Sons of American Revolution, or actually the 1776 American Revolutionary War. Uh, these are actually articles that were put out by the one that's the current leader of the organization, and he just emails them every day, and it's a, there's a special event that occurs on a particular day of the calendar year. So you go to the site Marion Light Artillery and says, you know, defending Confederate honor, the truth about Confederates. But then there's a page here called SAR. I'm going to probably have to add a page called SAR2 because uh, the site pad software I'm using is actually getting really bogged down. <laughs> I got five months worth of the articles in here, so about 150 articles, so there's quite a bit. So you look on here, Sons of American Revolution, on the left side, you can, so you can hover over it, it says click for the website of Sons of American Revolution in Ocala, Cala, Florida, and if you got here, you have click for the website of Sons of American Revolution in Georgia. Now, I'm going to probably have to, I'm going to have to modify this site and say this is going to be from January to June. So I already got January through May. So, in other words, if you look at, uh, let's see, Samuel Nicholas leads the first U.S. Marines mission. So you hover over it, it says Samuel Nicholas. <laughs> Excuse me. And here he pops up. You can see the PDF article, so you can download it. You can do whatever you want to do, print it, view it. And they're easier to read. That's the thing. I don't have them all formatted like this. Usually they're just in uh, number 16 uh, book Antigua font, dark blue, and it's got a header on it. That's usually what they are. Alexander Hamilton is born. You see this one will pop up here. So usually they format it like this. It's a much, much, much easier to read. They're page numbered. There's only two pages to an article. Usually it's one. Usually it's only two. Once in a while there's one. Once in a while there's three. So you got the Georgia Society here. The Ucala. This got links to that. I'm going to probably have, you can see there's a lot of them in here. And this thing, the SitePad software seems to get really, really, really bogged down. I was going to put 12 months in here for the one web page. I'm saying, nah, I can't do that. So I finished up in May. I'm going to do, I got some blue lines in here. So I'm going to put in uh, the June stuff. And then I'll clone this and then use it for July to December. So I'll make a page and it'll be SAR2. And I'll put, I'll probably put the pages, meh, I don't know, maybe at the end here or something, or I don't know. I'll keep them together because you can, you can order the page numbers on the menu. So anyway, that's just want to alert you for this because this does, this does have a wealth of information. It could be great for educational institutions and stuff. First electoral college is chosen January 7th. So it's by day. You know, it's every day of the calendar year something happens. And I don't know if, you know, you might notice that on April 6th, there's two articles. So sometimes there's two articles for a particular day, two different articles, and they skipped April 5th. I don't know, maybe the, the guy that did this did it that way. That's, that's what I got. So whatever. I mean, it's not a mistake. Um, Thomas Jefferson is born April 13th. So you can look at it every day. And it's a little bit interesting. You got the flag waving on the left-hand side. So if you hover over it, it'll come up with the two keywords, take Thomas Jefferson. So, you know, make sure you're in the right spot. That's why I put these blue lines in here because you can't, otherwise it'd be very difficult to see, you know, what's lined up and stuff. So permanent ceasefire, Congress declares permanent ceasefire April 11th, 1783. So the war went on a long time, seven years. And actually it didn't even go on. It went on even past that. The War of 1812 was related to uh, the American Revolution, and um, the war between the states is related to, related to the American Revolution. That was about centralization of the financial powers, really. It wasn't really, they said it was on the outside. Uh, Green Mountain Boy, Seth Warren, he's born May 6th. So what's today, um, March 11th, something like that? I'm putting this out. So you can look at every day what happened. The commander of chief's guard is formed. So right here, you can look that up. That's what happened on this particular day. But this was 1776. That's for George Washington. So interesting. So anyway, a um, lot of information here. A lot of information here, but it's easy to digest. It's, um, it's in a nice format. In other words, you can read it very easily without getting your reading glasses out. Uh, you can print it, you can download it, you can save it, whatever you want to do. There's not, it's all public information. It's uh, just really to educate the people 
about the American Revolution of 1776. Uh, anyway, over now. That's it. I think it's just for your information, and uh, I'll put this video up on BitChute too because uh, BitChute I think is going to be the new up-and-coming uh, Freedom of Information Avenue. And uh, you know, I think some years from now, um, you know, with the, with the ADL running things and stuff and whatever. They're going to tell you that this is racist hate speech for me putting this out for the Sons of the American Revolution, what the American Revolutionary War was about. Because, you know, the whole game that's going on right now behind the scenes with big tech, it's uh, there's people behind the scenes looking for absolute total control and total power. Uh, the rebellion will not be tolerated, basically. That's their mantra. You know, they want to own us. So, you know, get it while you can. And um, this, uh, I think this website's going to stay up pretty solid. It's, it's, uh, it's secure. It's, uh, it's it's scanned for viruses, all this kind of garbage all the time. Um, I haven't had no problems with it like I had with toasting jerk. <laughs> and uh, this is taking a mega lot of time to do because the site pad. I'm using site pad. It's getting really bogged down on this web page that, that I put all these articles on here. I mean, the articles aren't even stored on. They're on. They're on a WordPress site. But even so, they're still it's still bogging down. And uh, I'm going to have to make a separate, I'm going to do a SAR2 page that will have the articles from July to December. But still, we got 150 articles up there. It took a shitload of time, believe me. Oh, really? Because I had to format everything from the text file, upload them to WordPress. It was a lot of work, mega hours of work. And this, and I can get this done real quick. It's just that the software, the SitePad software, that this page is getting so big, it's loading down, so uh, you know you can look at the size of this thing. It's not, it's not, it's, uh, it's, it's getting freaking slow. It's taking me, it's going to take me a while to get these last 30 in here, and then I'm going to clone this whole thing. And I think the next six months won't be so bad to do. Anyway, have a very nice day, and uh, do check this out.